Are you trying to use a battery blender to add a second battery to your e-bike? Let's talk about what you need to check to make sure it's gonna work. The first thing to check is your controller. The battery blender cannot be used on applications that are more than 35 amps. This is a controller from a Bandit. So if you take a look, it's 35 amps. This is the max we can do, and this is why we use it on a Bandit. This controller is a little bit bigger. It's 40 amps. I would not use a battery blender with this controller. This little controller is from a smaller e-bike. It's rated to 48 volts and 22 amps. Battery blender will have no problem. The next thing is gonna be the battery itself. So it doesn't matter if the battery you're looking at has a BMS that is rated higher than 35 amps. It can have a BMS that's rated to 100 amps. It will not matter so long as you have a controller that is rated to 35 amps. The next thing to check with the battery is its amp hours. And by that, I mean it doesn't matter. Think about amp hours like the gallons of gas in your tank. The bigger you find, the more range you're gonna get. The next thing you need to do is check the connections of your controller. This is the Bandit controller, and it has an XT60, and we can plug that right in. This other smaller one does not, it just has two wires out. And so what you're gonna need to do is go on Amazon and just buy a $2 connector and crimp it on and convert this wire output to your XT60. So I hope that helps. If you have any more questions, leave a comment down below and we will answer them.